Okay, my friends, we're going to be up on TikTok. It's starting within a couple of days. It'll be at Mud Fossil University. And there'll just be little, little clips up there to get you started to have some idea of what's going on. And then there'll probably be a little more detail at some point. But what you do is see that stuff. And if you're interested, you come back to YouTube, Mud Fossil University, and, and get the deep details. Okay, my friends, I'm just going to lay it right on the line. The most important body part in your body is your immune system. And you say, well, that's a body part? Yes, it is. It's called the newfound organ interstitium. This layer right here is your immune system. It ke keeps, this is a, a membrane, and they're on every single part of your body, every single tissue, even on your red blood cells, and cells everywhere have membranes. And there's a fluid-filled layer around every single membrane that protects you, and it has been missed. It's never been found before. Meet your new organ. This is only 2018. Doctors don't know what to make of this. I do. I've been studying this for, I wrote the paper on this 2015, and I've been studying it ever since. And I know exactly what it does and how it works and how the fluids flow from one membrane, which is a sac around every organ, into the next membrane. And I believe they're missing a, a key component here is that every organ, I believe, has a different type of chemistry surrounding it. How could that possibly happen? The only way is through these tubes. And I'm going to show you right now. Okay, my friends, this is really kind of important. This is the interstitium, which is where your immunities are, right in this layer here. And this was not known until 2018. A paper was published about it. I know this layer for a very long time. I studied it. And I wrote a paper on it in 2015. And it's this layer right here. This white layer is that layer. Above that is eroded away, which was like, in this case, it was the flesh of this adipose tissue over the top of muscle. This little triangle right here is what we're going to focus in because this fuses this highway from one organ to the next, to the next, to the next. And that, I believe, is an extremely important missed organ, just as this was. This is your immune system. Nobody even knew about it existed. Meet your interstitium, a new found organ. Now, not only is this new, doctors don't know what it does. It is literally the membrane that separates you from the rest of the world, and all of the fluids that run through there are your immune system. However, they wrap around one organ at a time. Then that little tab comes out with two little tubes. I'm going to show you this in pretty good detail. I have one in the microscope right now here from chicken. And I'm going to show you in my mud fossils exactly how, uh, actually, actually I'm going to show you this one in the microscope. And you'll see the two little tubes. You'll see the latch, exactly the same latch right up here. And then down at the bottom, there's two little tubes. Remember this, that white gooey stuff running down to two little tubes at the bottom. I'm going to show you that in the microscope right now in the chicken tissue. Then we'll look at this one. And that is from some kind of meat from a, uh, I believe from maybe like a shoulder muscle or something. And that attached to the next right up, in, uh, up into, let's say, your shoulder. But it carries this fluid from here into some other area in your body. And every organ has that as well. Okay, take your time and look, into the, look at this carefully. This is a little, it's a, just like a snap that snaps this piece that comes down to the little triangle, I'll show you in a second, and the tubes run where this had fluids that coated this whole body part, which in this case was a, a breast from chicken, and they come right down and they lock in that little nasty little spot at the end that you, you spit out because it's, it's tough. And that is where it's tough. Now, what happens after that? The fluids are all on the other side of, of this and coming down, and they come into these two tubes here, watch, and a strap. There it is right there. Everything comes down here. That is where it locks in. But then it comes down with this flap, and there's two tubes here. 
and a strap running right between the middle of them. Now let's come up on this a little closer. Now you see the two tubes? There's one here and one here. They're different colors. And I think there's one of them could actually be an organ. Now they will break off somewhere up in here. I don't know whether it's right here or right down here. But you'll actually see the two, two little tiny holes coming out very, very clearly. And then it goes into this next ball of fascia and sends all the fluids into that. But it only comes through these two tubes. And I think the fluids may be altered at every connection. There may be some alteration that happens because it says, hey, we're going into acids now, to the stomach area. So do something to the chemistry here. I don't know. Because you get cancer of every single different tissue. And every single different tissue is wrapped with a different type of membrane. So if you're missing the chemistry in one membrane, you might get cancer in that particular membrane. Otherwise, you'd be, I would think you'd get cancer through your entire body. Everything would get attacked. But it's not. It's membrane by membrane by membrane, which is organ by organ by organ. And this is a breast. And that is where the fluids transfer down. I think that's pretty clear. You see the two tubes? That one and that one, you see they're different colors? And then they send their fluids into this membrane that surrounds another. This, I believe, anchors into the body proper, where a, a lot of them will anchor into another organ or to somewhere else. But those are the two tubes, and a center piece right down the center is what holds it in place. And that's what it is. Okay. These are the two tubes right here that broke off. Now I'm holding this, I'm sort of jiggling it around. But that's that triangle. And those are where the two tubes came down. Of course, this has got a lot of heavy duty stuff over the top of it. Now you see that triangle running back there? And that's the spur lock right there. That's where that circle I showed you before. Let me turn up the lights a little bit. focus it in. Hold on. You saw the two tubes at the very end, right there, those two little tubes. That's this latch. We're coming back with it here. And right up at the top is where it anchors in, right that spot right there. Heavy, heavy, heavy duty latch. Tough, tough, tough. Right there, that circle. See that circle right in the dark spot? That's where it tabs in. And then it comes down on the latch, and it comes right down to those two little white dots at the very end. See them? Those where the tubes were. Every body part I can find has that, where it, it changes over to the next body part and transfer the fluids. Now, one of those tubes, I think, or I don't know, I don't, one of those tubes, I think, could actually be an actual organ. Now, you see how this is just absolutely marbled meat. And you're going to get back here to that yellow stuff like I showed you before. You see, that's the kind of yellow stuff where it goes to, transfers over. This is heavy duty strappy stuff, this white stuff, woof. And of course it's all red and bloody and when it comes together here, right at the spur lock, everything comes together. You see all these pieces? And they, whoops, and they latch right in, right at that spot. And then this tabs over into the next piece and out comes the, the fluids through that tube and now the tube's broken off. Now check this, this is a little lung. It's a, I don't know what kind of creature it's from, but they all have that same lock, that little latch. There's that triangle. This is completely stripped of the pleura. This fabric is like a rubber bag that coats all the lungs so they can go like this and like that and like this. Inside the rubber bag is the, the alveoli, which is this stuff here, and that is this. 
all those little dots are the alveoli. The outside is stripped off. We're down into here. But we also have that latch is still here. Because it's a different body part. It's completely different than the rest of the, the fascia that coats the lung. You see this right here? That is different. Nobody knows this. The, the doctors don't know this. That was the entryway to the lung. I, again, I don't know what kind of creature, but they all have the spurlock. I'm finding them on all the body parts that I have here. They have the, that lock, that latch. Now let's put it in the microscope and look and see if we can see those tubes and so forth. All right, I got the little lung in the microscope. Now look up here. There it is in the microscope. What do we see? Right away, we see this little spurlock latch that tumbled over and locked onto the body. There's the two tubes. You see the two tubes? This right here is the latch, the lock. This is where it locked in to what used to be the pleura. And all that's gone. But the latch is a completely separate body part. Nobody knows this. Nobody understands this. I've talked to autopsy people and people in the medicine, they say, oh no, it's just a, it's nothing more than the fashion. I say, it's not. It's this right here, this thing here snaps in and then the two tubes go and right at the very end, they break off and feed, you know, when they come apart, they just break off. But these are the two tubes. You see the tubes? There they are, running right down to the end. You can't really see it breaking off down at the end, I don't think, but it does. Those two tubes come right down to the end. Now, the only reason this part is here is because it is a separate, completely separate body part that nobody's known about. Now, does this body part have the ability to change the chemistry going from this to the next? And I think it might because there's one side is just a tube, I think, and another side looks like it's got like an organ attached to it. I don't know. But I want to get somebody to look at this that has the ability to, to test this and see, is there some kind of special chemistry right attached to this? Because I've seen on, on every one of them, there seems to be one side that's not just a tube and one side that is just a tube. But I, I'm not sure of that. But it's pretty obvious this is a separate body part all by itself. Okay, you saw the latch here on the rock I showed you in the microscope, and it's the same as this, and it has that same tube coming down. This is a little bitty lung, and I know it's a lung, and I show you it has the same attachment as all the rest of them right here. It's got to be locked in, otherwise it'd be floating all through your body. So let's, let's take a look at this. Okay, don't forget, we're going to be looking at this little latch. It's going to be turned the other direction, but it's in the microscope of that little lung I just showed you. And here it is right there. There's the latch. You see the, see the circle? Just like this. It's coming down. It's a little moist right now. And of course, it's extremely eroded. It's, it's a, a mud fossil. But you come back up in here, and that's where the spur lock is, the, the tab. And you come down this way, and towards the end, right here, is where it latched in. Same as the other ones. You really can't see the two spots. You might be able to with a little bit of moisture on there. Right at the very tip. They, they're going to be right here somewhere. And that's what carries these fluids from here over to the other. And you can see it's a completely different, it's a different type of material. Completely, totally. You see? Just like the other thing I just showed you. And there's a little tab coming right down the center. I don't know if you can see the holes here, but they're going to be right in, right there. All right, so that's not just accidental that that little tab is sticking off just like the other ones. And it's right on the edge of a lung. It's a tiny lung, but it's still a lung. You see? Here's that tab. This is, my fingers are not much bigger, you know, than that little tab. I don't think this is hard to understand. It's hard to understand why it's not understood. That's the hard part to understand.
no sense to go any further with that. It's, it is what it is, and that's exactly what it is. And again, one side has a little extra going on there, and the other side is just a tube. This is very hard to see because, again, this is extremely eroded. But I think this side right here could be some kind of like an organ, and this side is just a tube. So it passes fluid through one side, but one side regulates maybe the pH, maybe some other secretion into there. But I do believe one side is different than the other. That's just speculation. You'd have to get an autopsy guy to, and actually you could do it with animal tissues, you know, from a roadkill or anything. And just take these pieces out and see what kind of, you know, whatever they can see in them, first of all, just visually. And secondarily, take samples of the, the fluids that are in these two tubes and see, are they different? If they are different, one of them is doing something. And you have 100 types of cancers. And every co everything in your body is coated with one of these organs that has these tabs coming in and going out. I think this is one tab and that's the other one. I'm looking at it now. And this would be the one that has no no flu, uh, additional flu secretions. And this one here looks like it's a secretor. I don't know. I'm just guessing at this point. But I, I'm, uh, that is a latch. Of that, I am 100% certain. And if transfers of fluids, of that I'm 100% certain. I showed you in a number of places. That's exactly what it is. The more I look, the more certain I am there's something totally different about this and this side. That's one tube. This is the other tube. Is this some kind of an organ? I don't know. Is this some kind of an organ? I don't know. They transfer fluids and they're not, they don't look exactly the same. And of course you have a vein and an artery and one of them is red and one of them is black or blue in the body when they're alive. But black, I mean red and black is the colors of blood when you die. Now, I don't know precisely what to think on this, but I can see it's totally different. Something's different coming down here than what's coming here. This looks pretty puffed up. Does it have secretions in here? It doesn't look like. More looks like the secretions would be here. But it has, it, it is what it is. It's a spur lock and right up there is where it tabs in, right in this area, it's just really gnarly, slams into the body and, and it won't pull out. That's why your organs can move around, but they won't rip out of your body. And there's tagged in with these, this lock, this, like, which I named after myself, the spur lock. And uh, the interstitium, which is the fluid-filled highway, is the feeder for all of this immune system biology. All right, it's all chemistry, it's enzymes and it's bacteria and they live in that, that lining, in that interstitium, which again is a brand new organ. This is something they just even didn't know about until recently and they still don't understand it because it takes literally forever to work things through in a in the medical industry, they just they, they don't want to know. They want they're scared. They don't want to be sued. They don't want to say something is wrong. I understand that, but they they're missing this highway, and that highway has to tag in as as there's an off ramp at every single organ. There's an off ramp, and it's got to go out of there. And one goes out one way, and one comes in the other way. As far as I can see. I don't think they're both going out, although I don't know. Maybe they both go out and feed and just continue to loop around in circles. Or does one go in and one come out? I don't know. And nobody knows. That's the key. Nobody knows right now.